Hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Arduino tutorial in this series. So in this series, I'm going to show you about uh, about the microcontroller Arduino, uh, you know, Rap3, and we use it to uh, to to make uh, basic tutorial in uh, Arduino. So the input here may be uh, a line on the sensor. The input may be uh, when you press a button, and the input also can be a Twitter message. Uh, so various type of input can uh, input to the microcontroller. When the microcontroller receives the input, uh, it can process the input signal and uh, work some uh, up tasks and do then uh, output to the uh, and then send the signal to the output. Uh, so we also connect uh, the uh, USB to. Uh, the computer or laptop and we also have the, the power uh, power supply for this we can uh, uh, supply the power supplies for about uh, 6 to uh, to uh, 12 uh, to 12 volts for this and uh, you can also uh, input the uh, the signal here or the analog signal to the input uh, from a0 to a5 uh, pin and uh, uh, after that, the microcontroller can process the input uh, parameters, the input uh, signal uh, or line and the press button, Twitter message, etc. Then uh, it uh, send the output to uh, to to control motor, uh, to control line, to control uh, line emitting diode, to send uh, the data signals to uh, LED or to line emitting diode. Or uh, control the speed of uh, stepper motor. Uh, so we uh, some of the advantages uh, we have is that we can install the software in uh, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and it is very inexpensive or very cheap. You can uh, buy a, a, so e easy. Um, you can buy uh, and and anyway any way uh, around you that and uh, it is easy to easy to use. So firstly, we need to install the Arduino. The Arduino uh, Arduino has a web version and the desktop ID. Uh, the desktop can be run in your local computer in Mac OS, in Linux, in Windows. So to download this, it is very simple. You can click to the download page. And in uh, and download it to your uh, photo or uh, your directory and uh, press to getting started and uh, choose your platform. So, uh, in this side, we choose uh, Mac OS X and then double click to the uh, zip file. Uh, wait a few seconds, so we have an executable file after now. Uh, drag and drop this Arduino file to your application photo and right click to this press open to uh, choose and ensure that it is from uh, an uh, trusted source and um, here is the program uh, and we have two function in this we have two function set up for loop the loop room will run forever run repeatedly and the setup here is a function to set uh, the rate etc uh, the bit rate uh, so you can set some of the setting here and uh, you can set to enable code folding and uh, display line number for easier to see uh, so it is my bot so i connect my bot to a potential meter a potential meter uh, uh, can vary from 0 to uh, 10 kilo ohm and uh, you can connect some of the pin to this the round uh, 5 voltage and the middle the middle here is uh, vary from 0 to 5 uh, voltage and we connect the A0 or the analog input and you can uh, read the analog input and the power supply here uh, so the USB connect to uh, your bot to and uh, to, to your computer through USB uh, cable and you can use the USB cable like here to connect to your laptop 
on your computer okay so what about the loop the loop is a function uh, run uh, run uh, repeatedly and you can read using the analog read from a0 and you can print out uh, the output value uh, you can print using print or print line print line mean you have uh, the add a uh, 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 the return after the uh, end of line and uh, you can send and delay one second one second mean 1000 millisecond so we delay uh, delay or wait for uh, 1000 million uh, millisecond okay millisecond or uh, one second uh, so it is for stable only then you can press to verify and upload upload the file to uh, your uh, bot yes uh, or, or to your my, my microcontroller so uh, semicolon here and press upload yes okay you have to set port to uh, USB modem uh, press USB modem okay and then okay uh, done uploading mean successful you you uh, already uh, add the uh, firmware to the bot okay so then now you can now you can check for the output by uh, uh, using your finger to control using for finger to control the uh, value of a uh, voltage uh, depending on your finger from zero uh, 1023 to zero yes decrease decrease you can uh, uh, turn by uh, step by step to see the value okay so here is a uh, zero zero or zero voltage or uh, so it is the value in digital so if you want to uh, get the real value you can uh, divide the zero to uh, 1024 because it is 10 bit it has 10 bit and here is a the power is 5 voltage and uh, after divided to uh, particle you send uh, you multiply to a uh, digital output or 10 bit 10 bit mean 0 to 1023 okay 10 bit okay so uh, uh, I can uh, divide this and uh, uh, multiply to digital output to, to get uh, the value and send this value to uh, the uh, serials uh, serial and you can see the data in serials uh, in serial okay uh, so uh, the analog value 3 mean uh, 3 uh, in decimal okay so after compiling and uploading to the bot you can uh, run you can run by choose uh, pressing this to see the output here it is the output mm, and uh, now I will uh, uh, take photograph or send uh, or open here okay uh, when you run when you uh, modify yes modify uh, the value of uh, uh, register register you can see the output can uh, vary depending on your finger as it increase and here it is 5 voltage okay 5 voltage is the maximum uh, maximum value when you choose this yes okay this is the end of my lesson today uh, to getting started with uh, Arduino and read input analog data using potential matter you can see the code here uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye